welcome to children's worship. We're going to start today with a movement activity called Awake and Ready. I'm going to do a series of movements and say a series of statements and you can do your best to follow along. Here's how it starts. I am awake and ready. I am awake and ready. I am awake and ready. Be glad, my brain, be ready and willing. Be glad, my brain, be ready and willing. Be glad, my brain, be ready and willing. Be happy, my hands, reach out to help. I am awake and ready. I am awake and ready. I am awake and ready. Jesus told everyone he met, Repent, stop the bad things you are doing, and start doing good. One day, Jesus was walking along Lake Galilee and a crowd had gathered to hear what he had to say. Jesus got into a fishing boat so more people could see and hear him. Thanks for letting me use your boat, Jesus said. Then he said to the fishing brothers, Simon and Andrew, I want to thank you with lots of fish. Throw out your nets. We'll try, they sighed. Simon and Andrew put their nets into the water. But we fished all night, and we caught absolutely nothing, they explained to Jesus. Suddenly, they felt their nets tug. They were overflowing with fish. Rip, pop, snap. The nets were so full they were breaking. The brothers pulled in so many fish that their boat started to sink. Help, they called to their friends in another boat. We have too many fish. James and John rushed to their rescue. The weight of the fish almost took their boat under two. They all knew that their new friend Jesus must be someone special. He was the only one who told them to catch those fish. Hey, Simon and Andrew. Hey, James and John. Follow me, Jesus called to them. Let's catch people instead of fish. Splash! The two sets of brothers dropped their nets into the sea. They were not fishermen anymore. Now they were disciples. Now they would follow Jesus. Jesus met a tax collector at his office. Hey, Matthew, follow me, Jesus called. Let's collect people instead of money. Clink! Matthew the tax collector dropped his coins to the ground. He was not a tax collector anymore. Now he was a disciple. Now he would follow Jesus. You can find this story in the Bible in the book of Mark, chapter 1, verses 14 to 20. This is a story about God's people for the people of God. Thanks be to God. We're going to make a series of paper crafts to represent today's Bible story. For this first one, we're going to need a piece of paper, some scissors, and a pencil. This first one is called a row of disciples. To start, take your piece of paper and cut a long strip. Then, you're going to fold this strip like an accordion. So you're going to fold one piece over, and then you're going to turn it over and fold it back so that the edge of the piece you just folded lines up with the new edge of your strip. And then the same thing. Fold it so that the edge of the piece you just folded lines up with what will be the new edge of your strip. And do that back and forth until you've got the whole paper folded. If your paper doesn't fold exactly in the number of sections, equal sections, and you have a bit left over like I do, you can just cut that piece off. So now you have this accordion. Now you're going to take your pencil and you're going to draw a person. But you have to make sure that when you draw your person, the arms reach to the sides of the piece of paper and are relatively thick so we can cut them and they won't rip. So I'm going to draw a person like this with some arms that reach to the sides of the paper. So 
So see how my arms reach to the sides and they're thick enough that I can cut around them and they won't rip? Now you're going to cut out that paper figure. So I'm going to cut out the bottom of the legs first. I'm going to cut out the side. And now the head. Finally, the other side. So when you're done cutting, it should look like that. Then, you can unfold your row of disciples. Look at them all. For these next two paper crafts, you're going to need a square sheet of paper. I'm going to show you how to make a square sheet of paper from a regular rectangular sheet of paper. To do it, you take your rectangular sheet of paper and fold the one corner over so that this short edge lines up with this long edge. So it'll look like that. You'll have a triangle that's folded over. Then all you need to do is cut this line here. Cut off the extra part that doesn't fit in that triangle. Then when you unfold it, you have a square. The second paper craft we're going to make is a boat. To make the boat, you're going to take your square of paper that you made and fold it in half. Then fold it in half again. Next, unfold the fold you just did so it looks like this. The side further away from you should have two layers of paper. You're going to take the top layer and fold the corner so that this edge here lines up with this edge here. It looks like that. Then you're going to do the same thing on this corner. So take the top layer and line up the outside edge here with this edge here. It looks like that. Then flip your paper over and do the same thing on the other side. So fold the corner so that this outside edge lines up with this crease in the middle. Same thing over here. This outside edge lines up with this crease in the middle. So now it looks like that on both sides. Now you're going to take the bottom part that you didn't fold the corner over and you're going to fold it over. It only has one layer so you're only going to be able to do it on one side. So now it looks like this. Now you're going to take that top part that has two layers and you're going to fold it down towards you. So it covers up all these corners that are folded. When you fold it down it'll cover those up. Like this. And then do the same thing with the other part that's still at the top. Fold it down and back 
so that your paper looks the same on both sides. So now this part that's bigger, that's the top of your boat. This part that's smaller, that's the bottom of your boat. And then you just have to open up your boat like this. Carefully you don't pull too hard on the ends because you could pull the folds out. And you can pull out the middle and kind of shape your boat until you have a boat like this. You might need to lean your boat up against something to get it to stand up because it doesn't stand up very well. Then if you want, you can take your disciples that you made and put them in your boat. For the last paper craft, we're going to make a fish. For this one, you'll also need a square of paper just like you did for the second one. Once you have your square of paper, you're going to fold it in half. This is the same way we started for the boat. Except for this time, you're going to unfold it again so you have that crease or that line where your fold was. Then you're going to fold it in half the other way. And once again, unfold it so you have that crease. So now you should have like a cross with a crease going this way and a crease going this way. Next, you're going to take your sides and you're going to fold them so that this outside edge lines up with this crease. So if I do it with this side first, like that, and then with the other side. Just like that. Now you're going to take the top and the bottom edge and fold them to meet this crease in the middle. So almost the same thing you did before. So fold this so it matches that middle crease that was there. And then the same thing with the bottom. So now you have this square of paper. Now unfold those folds that you just did, the top and the bottom ones. So you're back to here, except for now there's eight little squares that make up your rectangle. Now this next step is a little more complicated, so I'll go a bit slower. This bottom part, where you have these two flaps that come up, you're going to fold those so that this edge, so if you go in the middle part where your two flaps, two big flaps come together, that edge in the second square is going to line up with this edge, the middle of your long rectangle on the same side. So if you take this and you pull it outwards, then this part right here is lining up with the middle and then you push it down so it's going to look like this and then same thing on the other side so we unfold it a bit this edge right here is going to line up with this edge right here so you do that by folding it out like that and then flattening it down again so it looks like this if you didn't catch it we're gonna do it on the other side as well so you can try again so this edge right here is going to line up with the middle right here fold it out and then flatten it down. Now you have that point again. Same thing here. We have this flap and this edge is going to line up with this edge. Now it looks like this. Now you're going to take on one side those points that you have, like this, and you're going to fold them back so that you flatten them out 
so that your paper looks like this. Now, the next part, you're going to take this corner right here and fold it to the middle right here. So in other words, this edge with this edge. It'll look like that. And then this part that sticks up, you're going to fold it back down towards you so it looks like that. And the same thing on the other side. This corner right here to this middle. In other words, this edge to this edge. And then the flap that sticks up, fold it back down. Now it looks like this. Now you're going to take these big parts here and you're going to fold them almost so that this part here, this edge, lines up with this edge. These edges are parallel, if you know what that word means. But not quite. You want to leave a little space. So see how I'm folding it so that this edge lines up, but with a little space in the middle? That's exactly what you want to do. And then the same thing over here. So if I turn my paper around, so you can see, I want this edge to line up with this edge, but with a little space in the middle. And that's the last step. Turn it around, and you have a fish. Now that you have your boat with your disciples in it, hopefully they all fit, unlike mine, and you have your fish, you have all the parts of the story. And you can color them now if you want, and maybe even try and act out the story on your own. Here's a song to help us remember the names of the disciples. We sing this song to the tune of Jesus Loves Me. Here's how it goes. Jesus called them one by one, Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Next came Philip, Thomas too, Matthew and Bartholomew. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. And they all followed him. James, the one they called the less. Simon, also Thaddeus. The twelfth apostle Judas made. Jesus was by him betrayed. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. And they all followed him.
Be glad, my brain, be ready and willing. Be happy, my hands, reach out to help. I am awake and ready.